Now let's take a look at the two different ways we have of solving a quadratic equation. One is, I'll call it the brute force method that we first learned, and then I'll go over the recognizing that it's quadratic-like and doing a substitution, much nicer form. So here we go. First of all, radical, radical sign, equation, equal sign. So here we go. The way we used to do it is we would isolate the radical term, so that's this negative 7 square root x. I'll add that to both sides. And then we square both sides to eliminate the radical. So don't forget that gets parentheses on the left-hand side. And don't forget that middle term, or you won't get the right answer. So x squared plus 2 times 10 times x, so plus 20x plus 100 equals squaring on the right-hand side. You square the 7, you square the radical x, so 49x. So after you square both sides, then we had to solve what's left. So what's left is a quadratic equation because you have an x squared, which means we need a 0, unless we're going to extract a root, and that wouldn't make sense because we just squared both sides, so square rooting at this point doesn't get us anywhere. So subtract 49x from both sides to get a 0. So 49, 20 minus 49 will be 29. So minus 29x plus 100 equals 0. Pair of factors that multiply to 100 but add to give 29. x minus 25 times x minus 4. When you've been doing it for 30 years, you'll find the pairs that fast as well. So multiplication problem equals 0. The way that will happen is if x is 25 or x is 4. Now we're going to find the same answers, doing it a different way. Now we're going to look at that same equation, and we're going to say, hey, that reminds me a whole lot of a quadratic equation, but I don't have an x squared. I do, however, have two terms that have x's in them, and the powers have a relationship that this power is 1, and if you remember that square root of x is the same thing as x to the 1 half, so this one has an x with the power of 1 half. That relationship, 1 and 1 half, is important to us. That means we can use this u substitution. So we're going to let u be the smaller one. u is going to be the square root of x. So that u squared equals x. And now when I rewrite that equation in terms of u, I'm going to have u squared minus 7u plus 10 equals 0. Now it's not quadratic-like, it's quadratic. And we know how to solve those. Factors of 10 that add to give 7. So u minus 5 times u minus 2 gets us our answers of u equals 5 and u equals 2. And we could be done if anyone asks us about u's, but they ask us about x's. So come back up here to your substitution. u is the same thing as the square root of x. So the square root of x equals 5, or the square root of x equals 2. Again, don't stop until you have x equals, and you're not there yet. So to get from square root of x to x, we square both sides. That's not plus minus. Plus minus is when you square root both sides. So square both sides, x is 25, square both sides to get x equals 4. So you might be thinking, well, you know, that wasn't a whole lot easier than what we did before. Probably not yet, but the places to make mistakes are a lot less over here than they are over here. This expanding the binomial seems to be a huge issue for a lot of people. And then also, then, you also have bigger numbers to work with when you're factoring.